What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, man. Welcome back to the channel. Today, man, we just got a quick Hemi Muscle news break. If you haven't heard, Dodge is actually planning on building some more Durango Hellcats. Now, apparently they have built only 2,000 units. I know y'all probably already know this, but it's, it just seemed like to me that is a slap in the face for people who put down those large deposits on those vehicles, bro. If you was one of those folks that wanted to have one quick, fast, and early, and you ordered one, just I feel like this is a slap in the face, bro. According to MotorOne.com, they're saying that uh, Dodge has decided to continue building the Durango Hellcat because of the demand. And I feel like this is what they do, man. This is how they make their money. They build up the hype. And then they say, hey, we only build on a certain amount of them. And I think what happened, because of what happened with the track hawks, track hawks didn't sell like they thought they were. So I figured they would limit the amount of Hellcat Durango so people can hurry up and run out and buy them. And they don't sit on the lots like the track hawks did. And um, now, since so many people want them, they have no choice but to build them because they leaving money on the table. Now I'm gonna be honest, I was already suspicious because when you look at those Durangos, if they are limited edition, they normally number like they did the challenges, like the demon, they're numbered. When I realized that those Hellcat Durangos weren't numbered, I knew of something going on, bro. Those who paid the markup on those vehicles because they thought they were limited, I mean, I understand why people do it, but it just seemed like that's, you know, that's that's kind of that's kind of messed up if you ask me. Because now it's like you pay an extra 25 grand or whatever the markup was on the Durango, and you really didn't have to if you would have just waited. So now, if you want to help at Durango, you probably can get one. Or what's going to happen, people are going to start bringing them joints back. You know what I'm saying? So they're going to be on a lot, especially if they lease them. But even still, man, even if you did pay the markup for it, I mean, the Hellcat Durango is an awesome vehicle. I mean, I wouldn't feel bad about it. I mean, it's pretty much is what it is. If you're buying a vehicle like that, you probably got the money anyway. But still, it just messed up the way they did it. Because, you know, you got these folks thinking that they got some exclusive vehicle when now you can, anybody can probably buy one. And uh, there's no way of knowing that you want, you got it first because the truck is not even numbered. So, I mean, it's just something to look out for next time when Dodge start this, um, or we making a limited number of vehicles. If it's not numbered, nine times out of 10, it's not gonna be limited. And probably what's gonna happen, they're gonna come out with more colors. Um, you know, it probably gonna be updated you probably change the uh, U connect again so the 2022 hellcat durango probably going to be different than the 2021 and they have people thinking that those trucks were some kind of exclusive uh truck you know what i'm saying and uh i just think it's kind of messed up that they did that i don't know man leave your thoughts leave your comments and i'm gonna leave a link in the description where you can read about this and uh i just thought it was interesting so i figured i'd bring it to you guys and again, go to motor1.com and uh, you can read the article yourself. So if this is your first time on the channel, man. Hit the like button, subscribe. This is a quick news break from Hemi Muscle News, and I'll see y'all on the next one.